What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. We have made our way out here to Georgia and we are at TPC Sugarloaf today. There's like 12 tents set up and uh, the entire Mizuno team is out there. There's like probably 50 people from Mizuno and we're gonna get a fitting done. But I'm pretty sure Chris Vosh, he's the head of Mizuno and everything, we're gonna get dialed in and really figure out if my irons and my driver and everything, the new, all the new Mizuno stuff is actually fit for me because I do not know, they kind of just sent me it off of my previous specs, but there may be a shaft out there that's better for me with my driver. My old ping was really heavy, so I kind of want to replicate that because I did really like hitting that driver. But also my irons today, if there's better iron shafts, anything, we're going to dive right into that. It's going to be really in depth. I will say that you guys are going to learn a lot. I'm going to learn a lot because I don't know a ton about it, but it's going to be a great day. Let's get into this. Guys, this is unreal how much is going on today. There is a million different golf bags out here, shafts, everything. It's gonna be, it's just gonna be crazy. There's, Mizuno is really putting on a show today. They got a lot of college golfers here, so that's really cool, but. We got a driver and iron fitting, kind of. We're not gonna really dive into the hybrids or three woods, but driver is the main focus today with the irons, just to make sure they look good everything like that. Yeah, I'm really excited. There's gonna be a lot of information for you guys. So you, hopefully you can learn something. It's gonna be tons of information being thrown at you. A lot of stuff I don't understand. So you, we're all in the same boat here, but if you guys are enjoying these videos, hit that like button. It helps so much. We hit 100,000 subscribers thanks to you guys. And we just gotta go, now we gotta get to 200. So appreciate every single one of you guys. Let's get into this. It's gonna be a great day. Alrighty guys, we got Chris and Tyler here. And basically, and what are we, uh, what are we going into today? What is What's the plan for today? So today's gonna be pretty fun. So you got your new set of irons. What yeah. we're really gonna do is, is a little bit of a check just to make sure everything's right. Mm -hmm. So make sure the shaft's right, make sure the head's right. Tyler's one of our great fitters. He's gonna awesome. run you through this. It's gonna be really fun. Just make sure it's all dialed in. But yeah. then I'm excited to get into the woods as well. Cause I know that's one of the big things is getting right. dialed into those. Right, and the hybrid as well. The yeah. Why don't you hit a couple shots with that, get completely warmed up. Okay. And I'm gonna grab this shaft optimizer of ours and we'll look at some numbers. Okay, so, perfect. So there's an application on your phone, iOS device. So it's a right. software that Mizuno has. So with the shaft optimizer being Bluetooth, you're gonna swing a few times and it's gonna give me, well, there's a lot of metrics that you're not gonna see, yeah. but it's gonna give me like six metrics that are gonna really help me fit you uh, being club head speed, tempo, toe down, yeah. kick angle, release factor. Yeah. And if we really wanted to dive into this and do like a ball fitting, you'd see a couple other metrics show up too that I can kind of talk to you about. Perfect. So it's really cool in the 70 shafts or so that we offer saying, hey, here's two or three, let's pinpoint on and let's really focus and get the track man out and look at some numbers. Yeah, so, I know I probably, I don't have like the fastest tempo. I have a pretty slow like set. Mm -hmm. I remember we were talking about that, me and Ridge. Yep. yep. Like from the top, I don't necessarily like, it's more of a slower set, so maybe a little bit more and kick we'll, or whatever. We're gonna quantify that for you. I'm just right. resetting this, and then we can get and you And the jumping. cool thing about that, like traditionally, because you hit it pretty far in general, yeah. so. Not too far, but. But yeah. decently yeah, yeah. far. But typically what a lot of people would do if they didn't have a tool like this, you'd end up in something really stiff and really heavy as well. Right. And heavy is the scary thing because if you load it like smooth, you don't need heavy and you're actually gonna cost yourself distance with heavy. Right. So that's what's cool well, is one to thing, see the I numbers. will say one thing though, I've, I've always used heavier clubs, so I'm kinda, it's weird when it does get light, I like lose feel of the club almost, <laughs> like when it gets too light. Yep. So I do like a heavier club. And a lot of times when you lose feel, that's losing feeling of the head. Right. So you might be able to get away with lighter overall as long as the swing weight's enough. Yeah, so as long as you can feel the head. head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Alright guys, we are connected to the device. Now it's just a stock 7-iron. We're gonna, we're gonna dive into this. And now, so I know that we have consistent data. I'm gonna have you swing one more time. You'll see a red light pop up and okay. then you'll see solid blue. Really good. This shaft feels nice. It's funny. It's, it's, it's weird. It's a graphite, which you probably haven't hit in a while. But yeah. the point of it being graphite is there's actually some really cool sensors running through this that actually help collect a lot of this data. Oh, gotcha. But awesome. you're right. It's, it's probably a different feel than you've had in a while. Yeah. 
That's right. one of the cool things about this device is like when it's red, it's trying to literally like calibrate. So right. it's gonna make sure it knows exactly where it is. And then once it goes blue, it's like, let's get that data. Yeah. Yeah, that feels good. This club feels good for some reason. I don't know why. Chris, I'll have you talk on the numbers a little bit. So sure. like, I told you about the six data points, right? So club head speed is important. We're trying to figure out weight and flex of shaft. Right. Generally four areas of shafts you fit in. Is it heavier light? And then does it have a firm tip or a stiff tip or a firm tip or a weak tip? And we're trying to figure out where you fit in this realm. Swing about 94 mile an hour. Okay. And then if I tell you a number, for instance, on our tempo scale from one to nine, um, a nine tempo would be generally a quicker transition. Right. A one would be like Ernie Els smooth. Yeah. You're right in the middle on our scale. So okay. right at four, four and a half. Toe down to kick yep. angle to release factor. You can see all that. So this is all feeding into that shaft that's gonna perform best for you. Yeah, and that and that kind of speaks to what you were saying is that you kind of load it gently. Yeah. And by loading it gently, that's why you're kind of in the middle on that tempo. So at a four and a half, that's what's cool about it is now we know okay, you probably need something in about the 120 to 115 gram range. Right. You don't want to go all the way up to 130 or all the way down to like super lightweight. So what's cool is we'll jump into here and we'll, and we'll look at the different shafts that might work for you. So looking at these different shafts, there's a Project X 6.5, Project X LS 6.5, Modus 115X, Dynamic Gold 120X. So those are kind of the top four. I like the Modus. You have a uh, two or issue 120. I think I do. Right yeah. You do. Yeah. So that profile wise it exactly and that's what's cool is it kind of ranks you can see a 4.9 4.7 like it's a 4.7 out of 5 fit so it's right. like almost dead on where you want to be so the cool thing is like your irons that you got built up right now that spec or that shaft that's gonna be perfect for you in terms of getting the right load yeah they feel good they do feel good but that's one of the cool things about this is another thing that this measures is the actual lie angle where most of the time you have to hit off a board when you're hitting off a board then you look at the sole interaction right, and stuff. Right. but a crazy thing about it is like if you hit off a if you hit off a board like if the face is closed it's gonna measure on the toe if the face is open it's gonna right, measure on the yeah. heel so this one, it ignores all that and it knows exactly what this angle is. All right. So when we flip through here, so this basically says, I, and I don't know what lie angle you typically play, this says you should play about one degree flat. Really? I'm always upright. Yeah. I've You've always, always been upright? Yeah. Exactly. And that's all relative to the length you play as well, because right. you are on the taller side, so you might I play a little bit I used to play four long. degrees upright. You yeah, did four? I used to when I was in college. Right. So the interesting thing about that, and another thing is, you know, different companies measure lying a little bit different, measure length different and all right. that. So, so it's all relative. Like we would put you in 60.5 degrees of lie angle. Gotcha. To us, that, that's where you delivered that coming through. Yeah, I like it a little flatter. It feels good. Okay. My hands are a lower. And that's right. You know, is if you get too far upright, especially as a better player, you start turning yeah, over. Laugh. Yeah, yeah. Start getting it left. So that right. we would. That's where we would land you on it. And but the cool thing about like a beautiful forge set is you can bend them to exactly whatever you oh, want. Sweet. So, okay. so let's hit a couple with your seven iron. Just look at the flight on it. Because okay. what's great is it's dialed into a good one. Right. Yep. Yeah, that's a lot lower than it used to be. Yeah, I do. I will say that. That was really, those are penetrating. Those yeah. Are good. So when you you added a little bit of length from where you were in the last fitting. Yeah. And you went a touch stronger as well, right? I think with the lofts. Yeah. I noticed immediately with these newer irons, guys, that they go, they just launch a lot lower than the old JPXs. That's one thing. And that's what I want. I don't want to hit floaty iron shots. I want to be hitting low ones in there. Let's let's go right into the driver. The irons feel good. Like honestly, I'm not gonna. I don't feel like personally I'm gonna get much more out of them. Let's yeah. get into this. This is what's gonna get interesting. So you're in a pretty standard length. This is about 45 inches. This is the one that was built up for, for Grant. And okay. we're gonna look at it. He's got a 6x in the Ventus. That's blue, right? Yeah, yeah. the Ventus blue. So the cool thing about this is we're gonna hit a couple of these, get Grant to hit some, look at the ball flight, and then we got a ton of different shaft options. Yeah. We're gonna dial these in to make sure we can get that stability and that that uh, penetrating flight that he's looking for. That is one thing, guys, with the old driver. I, I don't think I really talked about it too much, but with the newer driver here, it just felt a lot lighter to begin with. So I wanna just obviously add a little bit of weight if possible. So. Right now with your irons, because you went longer, mm -hmm. so we have a couple different head weights, but in general, our head weights get lighter. But I, I think these are gonna swing weight a little bit out on the heavier side. Yeah, I don't know. My ping was just absurdly like heavy. It was yeah, crazy, yeah, and so. ping in general, they play pretty long. Mm -hmm. So it might be a little bit heavier than this. The interesting thing here is what we'll do is we'll get some different ball flights. We'll find the shaft that's gonna get you in the right launch window. And then okay. from there, we could adjust the headway. We could bump it up a little bit. We could get you to where you need to be. Yeah. 
our side game that has turned into our main game. I've kind of gotten used to it. I'm not gonna like I've gotten used to the feel of it. It feels good now. Uh -huh. But when I first started swinging it, I was like, whoa! It was like it was throwing from the top. And I was, right. I was hitting it straight though. Somehow I was like squaring it up. I don't know what I was doing. I was flipping at it and everything. But change things out on it. What we're gonna start with is that's a six x, which means it's probably around sixty five grams. We're gonna jump straight up to a seven x. Give you okay. a little bit more mass in there. So that should actually give you a little bit more of that heft you're looking for. Well, thing with that optimizer, it actually recommends driver shafts too. Oh, sweet. This is gonna get a little bit higher up than what that six x was. Okay. In relation to your tempo and club head speed. So let's. So this this shaft's different. It's it's a little heavier. Okay, a little yeah, heavier. Just a little Stouter, but it's going to play similar to that 6x that you have. So even though that's the same shaft, it's still a Ventus Blue, uh -huh. when you go to that 7, it not only is it heavier, but it actually makes the whole thing play a little bit stiffer too. Yeah, that yeah, stiffer is going to bring the spin down, bring yeah. the flight down a little bit as well. So we went up to a little bit of a heavier shaft. It's the same shaft I've been playing but the, the little bit heavier feel is so much better. It lowered the spin a lot. We're already making some big improvements here. That was good. That you was like that? Yeah. That's good, wasn't it? Do you want the ball to go left, or what do you like no, to see? No, no, I, I'm, I usually, like, straight's good. Like, I'll, okay. I'd rather take the hook off. Whatever. So you're fine with it falling a little bit to the right? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, cool. So what does that shaft feel like compared to the other two? I don't know. That one felt good. I would hit all those in the center of the face. So, so if you had to rank the three that you've hit, where would you say they kind of feel? I don't know. I felt like this one was going the furthest. I don't yeah. know why. I felt like this one was hotter off the face, but I'd probably go this one number one, that probably two, and this three. Okay. Then let's go back to this one. and Let's go to the 7X. Yeah, yeah. Not the no. 6X. The 7, for sure. Does that weight feel closer to your ping, or does it, it still does. feel light? It's still a little light. Yeah, okay. it's a little on the light side. It's, if like, if anybody ever picked up my ping driver, they, the first thing they ever said was like, this is the heaviest club they've ever felt. So it's, pro it's probably going to be pretty hard to replicate how heavy that ping was. What we can do though is, you know, knowing what this is, we could get your head this little bit heavier. So gotcha. we, we, could, oh, we could add that weight to it, so. Awesome. All right, let's hit this again. This was the one. This was my number one pick, this um, Ventus shaft. A little bit stiffer, the stiffer tip area here. So it seemed like it was going further. I will say that. Just a touch, but not much. That one feels so good. Yeah. Cool. That ball fly it... right there. What do you want to see different than that? Not much. I'm fine. Okay. Like straight, maybe. Yeah. I, just, the... it, I don't think it will fade on the course. Would you say if anything less left than that, or? No, I mean, that that was stuff. I like right that there. a lot. Yeah. So the cool thing about this is. Uh, with the adapter, what you can dial in is we've got you at basically one degree stronger than this. So it's a 9.5, but it's built bent a little bit strong okay. with this. But what I did is I actually went a little bit towards the upright side. So what that's going to do is if it is fading too much, this should straighten it out a little bit and help it turn over a little. Because like you said, if you struggle to turn it over and you want to be able to, now you can. Yeah, yeah. But if you go on a course It's where funny, you, though. I always turn, like, I play, when I'm on camera, like, I play, like, I have yeah, big old yeah. and draw, like, on the course. We have a good, good week. Is that what you want to play? Or I mean, I'm just, like, that's what I've always played. It's not necessarily yeah, what yeah. I want to play. I like the straight. I'll take straight there you go. all day. So that's set on upright. So I'm I'm curious if this turns over a little bit more than it did, okay. but hopefully not too much. So it's just like no spin at all. Can you feel the difference with that one a little bit more upright so that it turned over a little bit more? Yeah, yeah, for sure. But that's where I would land with you then. And then and then it becomes a question of if you want it to feel even heavier, we could weight that head a little bit more. Right, right. This is great, guys. I'm telling you, this shaft feels amazing. Just hit a bunch of balls with it. Super flat, like no spin. And I don't know why. Now I can actually feel the ball coming off the face. Before with the old shaft, it felt like really light coming off the face. I actually feel the ball more. So, yeah, I'm going to hit a couple more here, and that's going to wrap it up for today's driver and iron fitting here. I'm really, I'm really happy with the way that driver turned out. It feels amazing. I feel like I'm going to gain so much yardage off the tee. But guys, hopefully you did enjoy that. I learned so much. There's so much like that goes into fittings that you really just don't know about. So hopefully you guys did learn something. That's kind of another thing with like my goal on this channel is to just help you guys obviously get better. And if you guys learned anything, that's huge for me because there's a lot going on with all the different technology these days. So if you guys did enjoy that video, hit that like button. But until next time, guys, peace out. Woo!